Y'all, this is Inheritance Part 2. My grandma Cody has just came in to me. This is my Aunt Margaret twin sister Cody. And she has a message too for these evil ass family members. Um, she want me to expose their ass as well. Um, not only my family, but other family members have also went through this uh, particular situation to where individuals were um, working behind people back to steal money. Um, to steal property, to steal land, to steal some type of abundance. Uh, these individuals feel like that you didn't deserve it or your parent didn't deserve it or whoever did, did they felt like that you guys were less than, you, you guys were less, you guys were scum, you guys were less than, they looked at you as a lesser. I'm not sure if your mother was involved or not. Maybe so, maybe not. I'm not sure. I'm just going off by energies that there's a possibility that um, a mother could have been involved in the situation too, to keep these, uh, whatever that this inheritance was. I'm picking up that both your aunt and your grandma left you an inheritance um, in their will and you never received none of your inheritance. These people fumbled, played, um, used and stole your identity and took your money and distri distributed out to other family members is what I'm picking up. These people are, could be very religious, uh, Christians, Jehovah Witnesses, um, Muslims, um, Presbyterians, Jewish, it doesn't matter. You know, they know who they are. They know they was wrong. I'm picking up there could have been a grandmother that was involved in this. There could have been a mother that was involved in this. It could have been multiple sisters and brothers that was involved in this. Okay. There was a lot of underhanded activity that was going on behind your back. Divine feminine, divine masculine. You could have been a child where you didn't know this or you was living a lifestyle to where it wasn't pleasant. But at the same time, it's nobody's right to take what's supposed to have been rightfully yours. I feel like people made a bad judgment call on you and they never gave you a chance. They looked down on you. They never respected you. And if, and I feel like that they knew that you wasn't never going to find out about this inheritance. They pretend to like you and to welcome you, but they really can't stand your guts, your own family members. Okay. Um, I feel like there was multiple people that was involved with the situation from younger cousins to older cousins, even to grandparents uh, that had their hands in dibs with getting your inheritance, possibly your siblings as well, too, because I know I have a brother. He passed away, too, and they kept his inheritance away from us. You know, and I know that for a fact. And they tried, to, you know, I, it's a lot of shit going on. And I'm pretty sure if they kept, like, my grandma had a fucking will on my brother. But it was something talking about it. Well, since we didn't let them know uh, some bullshit like that, I feel like she cashed it in and she used it on herself. Because to this day, my brother doesn't have a fucking goddamn um, a stone. Or he doesn't have, or nobody never helped us pay out the rest of the funeral. If y'all uh, for so, if y'all say, "Oh, we got the help," but y'all want us to bend over backwards because you got a will on my brother, bitch. You supposed to come out here and you supposed to goddamn get that money up without trying to goddamn bar trying to bar a bargain or trying to goddamn make people goddamn beg for some money that you supposed to gave anyway for the goddamn funeral. That shit is bogus to me. Four ten, four eleven. Like I said, this information about to come in towards you, and it's gonna hit hit their ass upside their motherfucking head. Like I said, I know this sounds similar to my situation because my brother, like I said, my grandma had a will on both of us. She said it let it dissolve for me. I don't give a fuck because I'm gonna make sure that my life um uh, insurance policy is taken care of. But I remember it was a conversation talking about, well, if they, we needed help, we ain't never asked her. But my thing is, why the fuck would somebody have to ask why their brother or we're burying my brother or we're, we're going through grief? Why the fuck would we have to ask? You should come up and say, yo, we got this wheel. Here you go. You know, we got this money that we, we put up for Rico. You know, instead of making it, making you, making mama or making me bend, what the fuck? 
Ain't nobody worrying about that shit. We worrying about how we gonna get them. If y'all already knew we was worried about taking care of this 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 funeral, then why the fuck you just didn't have a a helping hand then? Why you had to make it such a difficult time? That's because five eleven. You did not want to 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 uh to to bring change or to help my brother while he was transitioning over. Y'all didn't give not two shits about my brother passing over. And I'm going to say that shit again. I don't give a fuck if y'all go back and got them tell the whole rest of the family. Fuck y'all too. Fuck you. For real. Because y'all knew that my family, my mother, and I needed that fucking money to bury my brother. And we still don't got a fucking headstone because y'all bitch ass motherfuckers want to play around with people wheel money and shit. Not only did y'all got them snuff away, my brother got them wheel money to go to his funeral. But you done took money from the rest of the family. From Aunt Margaret and my goddamn um and Grandma Cody, and you took that from me and my brother. From what I was told from my ancestors, I don't, I can't say that for everybody else. I'm talking about what my people told me. My they talked to me, not y'all, for real. And so I got to come out here and expose this because they say goddamn let it go, let it out. So this is a channel message, and it's not only for my family, but for everybody else who got some old uh, mischievous, old Harrison as um. Backwards ass, religious ass, goddamn, a fake ass, wanna be motherfucking, live the Jones ass motherfucking family members. They ain't shit. And they ain't gonna never be shit. And they gonna get their fucking karma. Judge is motherfucker has, has rained on these motherfuckers. And I will be pulling a reading up on that too. I'm talking about to the young, the old, the ugly, and the gray. Y'all ass getting exposed. Cause y'all was on some bullshit. It doesn't matter what the fuck y'all looked at us as the black, the black sheep of the family. No motherfucker. You the demonic ass family members. And we were sent to y'all motherfuckers to drag y'all ass to hell. Since you touched one of God's angels, you touched both of us. Now your ass about to be dragged. I don't give a fuck if it was 15, 20, 30 years ago. You thought you was going to end. You thought you was going to walk away and get over and get and get over with this. You wondering why y'all having nightmares and, 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 and you having bad luck and you having health conditional problems. Think about it, because you're about to have your completion too, ho. You know who you are, all of y'all. And I'm going to digress on this message, because y'all ain't right, y'all ain't shit, and God going to make sure that you pay for everything that you did. And I hope y'all get locked up and, uh, and the government swallow the key on y'all bitch asses when this shit get exposed. And I hope it go to court. I hope it get televised. And I hope everybody can see how these fake-ass cults, religious organizations really work. And I'm going to digress. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace be.